probing questions. Reckless and ill-advised. That's how Bruce Lehrman's lawyer described Lisa Wilkinson's Logie speech. Matthew Richardson suggested to Ms Wilkinson her speech conveyed she believed 100% Ms Higgins' allegation was true. Ms Wilkinson denied that was what she said. You knew that you were communicating to hundreds of thousands of people that you believed Ms Higgins' allegations. It's the irresistible interpretation, isn't it? Mr Richardson, if you can be in the minds of the entire nation, that's a superpower I don't possess. Mr Richardson went on. I want to suggest to you, you put your pride and your ego ahead of my client's right to a fair trial when you gave that speech. I completely disagree, she replied. Mr Lehrman launched the case against Ms Wilkinson and Network 10 after his trial was abandoned with no findings against him. Today, Mr Richardson also took aim over whether the program did enough to ensure Ms Higgins' story was true. You had no intention of challenging her on anything she said. You were thrilled by the riveting commercial appeal of the story that she told. Please don't make me sound like a cheap tabloid journalist, Mr Richardson. But it was the portrayal of Brittany Higgins' boss, Chief of Staff Fiona Brown, that generated the most heat today. The impression conveyed by that is Ms Brown is some kind of vile apparatchik. She comes across as cold and unfeeling. I totally disagree. When quizzed about potential inconsistencies in Ms Higgins' story, Ms Wilkinson said she did ask questions, but wasn't responsible for checking details before the program aired. And Lisa Wilkinson has made it clear she is standing by a suggestion. There was an attempt at a systemic cover-up with damage control all the way to the Prime Minister's office. Lisa Wilkinson will continue her testimony tomorrow. Elizabeth Byrne, ABC News.